Welcome back to a brand new decade of reviewing shoes. Now this decade is going to be a little bit different because the shoe reviews are going to be more spread apart, but I will have other videos that I think will give you guys more information and enrich the number one skateboard shoe review channel in the world. Because if you haven't subscribed yet, you probably should because not only is that fact backed by math, it's also backed by science, education, the reform system, and statistics. How many statistics? All of them. So if you have any pumpkins to put in the patch about it, you probably should. What does that mean? I don't know. But we are going to start this year off by reviewing. Diego Shoe on the Heels. No one is sponsoring these videos, and I bought these Adidas myself for $75. Uh, I just saw that they're now $49. So, uh, actually, that's that's pretty good for a skate shoe. So, $49 bucks for a skate shoe? That, that's actually not bad. Adidas is claiming that the Diego's mimic the magnified wide-angle look, which marks the most iconic images in skateboarding. So if all you need is a wide angle look, I guess this is the most iconic skateboard shoe review show in the world. In all seriousness though, the look of these shoes is what made me want to skate them in the first place. Because I really like the whole one piece upper that just connects to this little canvas heel in the back. It just has a real simple look that I really dig. To my extreme disappointment, these didn't really last that long at all because I've been skating them for a month. But, I have not been skating every single day. I've been skating for a few hours, maybe every other day. Or maybe even more days in between, because I've had to work a lot. And the worst thing about it is, is that they started to rip on the inside of the shoe on my right foot. So it seems like it can't take just pushing off of the ground, because that crease just started to tear a huge hole that's bigger than the hole that gets formed from doing your kickflips. The Diego's were a true to size fit, as well as breaking in really quick. The thing about them being able to break in really quick though, is that it didn't really help with the impact protection category. Because the second that I started skating them, I realized that I probably needed to put some insoles in them. I felt the impact a little bit too much. So, of course, I got the absolute best insoles that I possibly could, which are the footprint insoles. I will leave an affiliate link, which I definitely think that you should go and get them because it's probably the best thing you could do for your skating and for your back and your body. Over the course of this month of me skating them, I've pretty much also been wearing them the whole time. So the grip on the bottom has been used pretty much every single day. It's not really worn down that much at all. So the grip on the bottom of the shoe lasts a lot longer than the whole entire upper of the shoe. There is a silver lining at the end of all this bad things, and that is the fact that they broke in really easily means that I was able to do all the tricks that I wanted to do pretty much immediately because the flick on them was great. Every heel flip trick that I wanted to do also felt really good. And I don't really know if this weird protrusion sticking out on the back of the heel helped at all, but it didn't stop me from doing the tricks I wanted to do. After all things considered and skating these for the past month, I would not buy these shoes again. If you really like them and you want to try them yourself, I'll leave an affiliate link for them in the description below. But for the most part, I personally will not be getting these shoes to skate again. And if you want to go ahead and try them out, hey, that's your call, man. But <laughs> have fun doing it if you want to. If you are not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have the notifications turned on, then that's great. If you don't, that, that's not great. You should probably turn those on. And there will be more shoe reviews coming out. There are just going to be a lot bigger gaps in between so I can skate them a lot longer. Because I'm not trying to skate a shoe for two weeks and then try to put out a review or skate a shoe for a month, very minimally, and then try to put out a review. So I want to make the reviews very thorough, and very articulate, and put together well. So kicking off this year with a bit of a short review on this guy, but at the same time, still a full review, because I've been skating them for a long time. I just don't really have that much stuff to talk about with them, because I just really didn't end up liking them that much. Which is weird, because I usually like Adidas. Usually, Adidas are the shoes that I like a lot. But, leave a comment down below and let me know if you like this shoe review, what shoes you want me to review next, and uh, hit the subscribe, ring notification, I said that already, whatever, all that stuff. <gasps> shoe drop! Ta-da!
Nothing fancy this time. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Wait, 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 hold up one second. Before you go ahead and take off and go watch some other video, go ahead and check out the rest of my channel because there's a bunch of videos, different shoes I reviewed in the past. And maybe there's a shoe that you want to know about on there. So make sure you subscribe because I'm coming out with new videos every week.